Hi guys and welcome to a fabulous day of a photo shoot that I am doing today. I'm Lark Park Lincoln here with Brad Barton of Texas Headshot Photography and the creator of the new book, Beautiful Monsters. And of course, you know, that means we got to shoot me today because hey, I hang out with monsters. And um, Brad is going to tell us a little bit about his concept for the shoot today and the book overall. The concept was born trying to marry two of my favorite passions, uh, pinup photography and monsters. I do, I've been working in the haunted house business and the horror business for a couple decades now, it seems like. And it seemed only a natural fit for me to put the two of them together. Mm -hmm. And it made only sense to bring in my good friend Laura to, to do one of these uh, projects. You know, Brad and I have worked together for probably 12 or something years. In fact, he designed my book, Get Started Not Scam, that's Tractors and Models. He did the design on that. And um, well, he did all the good photography that's in it, we put it that way, um, because we had bad before. But uh, we had a lot of fun when we met each other and started working on that project. And now he is the master photographer for my studio, which is actorsauditionstudios.com. And so today we have a fabulous makeup artist. Y'all will meet her in a little while. And we were just talking about the concept of this particular shoot because the, the idea, the way I took the idea, was to kind of look at the concept of what is beautiful and what is a monster. Is a monster what you see or is it what they do or is it what we have as a preconceived idea of a visual? That was my side. And, and so as we are create this Jason side of my face with a makeup artist painting as opposed to the poster, which was a photo art piece, um, we are going to bring in the beautiful side, not of Jason the murderer, but the beautiful side of, of looking at um, a face or an image and not really judging what the world sees particularly as beautiful or a monster and, and the other shots he has in the book are really fantastic so can you tell us a little bit about those well the idea was uh, born, originally born when um, uh, actually our makeup artist that, that's working today we were doing a bride of frankenstein uh set beautiful. and we started joking around that, that monsters were beautiful too and monsters were people too <laughs> and needed and needed some some positive role models in their lives <laughs> and the ideas started coming at that point to do a scarecrow, to do a, a werewolf, to do a witch, and so on. And those those were the first four that we ended up doing. Uh, if you go to the Kickstarter page on it and uh, and my page, those will be the first four you see because those are the first four we we completed. Uh, and then it's just kind of snowballed from there. When I when mm -hmm. I first put those four out, it, it yeah it went crazy. Yeah. It went crazy. We had we had volunteers coming out of the woodwork that wanted mm -hmm. to be monsters themselves. Right. Uh, they, people Who really want to want to really be a monster. Yeah. And let it show. And let it show. <laughs> let your monster fly. Let your monster side fly. But uh, the idea is so interesting because Brad has a book on pinup photography. He is an incredibly talented artist that, yes, he does all of the actor headshots and those things, which we have a very specific system for how we work with actors to make them superstars. But he has an art page and he has an incredible eye for blending one of your images wasn't it like 17 the, the, the mermaid he has a mermaid shot how many yeah. elements were in that well there's uh i think there's something like 60 different elements yeah. in that he did this amazing page. shot is that which page is that on so uh, it will be on my bradbarton.us page under uh, fantasy photography okay so we'll put a link somewhere because that's what people say they're going to do they point down and say it's going to be under something so oh, somewhere there. there will be something that tells you where to go but it's bradbarton.us Dot US. Dot US under fantasy art. Yes. Right? And it's a, this incredible shot of this couple, and she's a mermaid in the boat. And it was literally 60 different images that he put together to create it. And I believe it's won awards, hasn't it? Yes. Hasn't that yes. won yes. many awards? It, it, won, it won some awards at the national level in my professional organization. Now, you've moved up so far in photography. You are considered what now in, in your field? I am a master photographer mm -hmm. for, from Professional Photographers of America and currently working on another degree with them for master right. artist. Right, which is amazing. He's had, halfway there. Oh wow, he's had to submit so many amazing portraits. They've been voted on, they've been chosen. People are now buying his art. They are wanting his art as, po you know, as photo cards and all of this stuff. So this has really been a natural progression for us as a team. Uh, it's just kind of, uh, it's, it's gone over time. People think things happen overnight, you know, when they see it, but 
we worked together a really long time, and when he came to me with this concept, and it shocked some of these, I'm like, well, heck, you know, who's the biggest monster of all? And that's Jason, you know, of course. And um, and uh, we didn't have Kane available. Thanks, Kane. But uh, I'm about to uh, get in a makeup chair where I'm going to have to sit for a really long time. So um, bad thing to do for an actor always easy for you. and a coach that speaks. Yeah. The last time this happened was when I shot the Freddy's Nightmare series. Um, what was it? Uh, Freddy's Nightmares. The Freddy's Nightmares yeah, series. Nightmare. And they sewed my mouth shut. And uh, you just don't want to do that to an actor. It's not cool. So a lot of stress about having to sit in this chair, but I'm going to be really good. And I hope you're going to love this behind the scenes, during the scenes, what all happens, what goes on. I hope you love the project. It's one of a kind. And we do have a Kickstarter funding thing, whatever, but we're almost there. So... Uh, it's really cool, and the, those monies that are coming in on that site are specifically to pay and produce a lot of the background people that have worked gratis, which is common in the industry, but we're going to make sure um, people get a little coin for all the work because the talent behind this on every level is high, extraordinary. The, the minimum budget on the Kickstarter is for the actual printing of the book, right? And for some of the makeup supplies that we're yeah. that we're using that we can't go, replace. Yeah, we go way. through so much as makeup artists, you know. No, so this is the book for makeup artists, uh, horror fanatics, beauty fanatics, people that are just huge fans of mine, and I love you too. People that have found Brad's art that is now doing some amazing things, and uh, oh, <laughs> they're calling me with things like. Um, Oh, things to uh, make me look like a beautiful monster, which of course I'm not a monster. <laughs> I'm just beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually really, really graceful. I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you in a minute.